Well, hello there, all my littles. It's Auntie Mer with Storytime. And I've been seeing all kinds of pictures and getting messages about all my friends who are watching these stories and listening to them. And I just wanted to say a big hello to everybody, especially those who are in Coburg and in Guelph and Bowmanville and Oshawa and London also and Ottawa. Really nice to hear from you all and I'm glad you're enjoying this as much as I am. Today's story is called Something From Nothing and the author is Phoebe Gilman and Phoebe Gilman is from Canada and what's really cool about her is that she not only is the author who writes the story but she's also the illustrator. So let's get my reading glasses on and see these amazing pictures that she does and listen to this really cool story. Oh, and this has an award on it. It's an award-winning book. Okay. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket. I'm going to try and show these pictures a little bit better because they're really amazing. To keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. And one day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's worn, it's unsightly, it's torn. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and he turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There is just enough material here to make. A wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and went outside to play. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small. It doesn't fit you at all. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the jacket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There is just enough material here to make a wonderful vest. Joseph wore the wonderful vest to school the very next day. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at that vest. It's spotted with glue and there's paint on it too. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went, snip, 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 and his needle went in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make. What do you think it's going to be? It's getting smaller and smaller, it seems. A wonderful tie. Joseph wore the wonderful tie to his grandparents' house every Friday. But just as Joseph grew older, his wonderful tie grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your tie. This big stain of soup makes the end of it droop. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the tie and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went, snip, 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 and his needle went in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make, goodness, something smaller than a tie. What could that be? A wonderful handkerchief. Now, a handkerchief, sort of old-fashioned, but it was like a little 
cloth that you would keep in your pocket that you could use to kind of wipe your nose or wipe your hands, or you could collect things with it, which is what Joseph does. A wonderful handkerchief. Joseph used the wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered. It's splotched and it's splattered. It's time to throw it out. Oh my. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the handkerchief and he turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle went in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful button. Joseph wore the wonderful button on his suspenders to hold his pants up. And one day his mother said to him, Joseph, where is your button? Joseph looked. It was gone. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Joseph ran down to his grandfather's house. My button, my wonderful button is lost. His mother ran after him. Joseph, listen to me. The button is gone, finished, kaput. And kaput is a word for like done. Even your grandfather can't make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid that your mother is right, he said. The next day, Joseph went to school. Hmm, he said, as his pen went scritch scratch, scritch scratch over the paper. There is just enough material here to make a wonderful story. I love that story. It just, isn't that a good title, Something from Nothing? And right now in these times when we're kind of not going to school or daycare or seeing our family, it's very difficult, but it just goes to show you that you can make something from nothing. So you're doing a great job staying safe. And until next time, keep making something from nothing at home and be good for your families. And we'll see you next time for Storytime with Auntie Vez.